people think of a high school wrestler, they picture a young man. But as Ford Hatchet explains, a group of girls flipping the script in Mount Airy, turning that thought on its head. Women's wrestling is one of the fastest growing sports in the state of North Carolina. And if that's something you're just not quite used to yet, the Mount Airy High School team has a message for you. Get used to it. I was going to say the same thing. Things change. Mount Airy's team now consists of five girls, some getting into the sport because of family ties to wrestling and others just curious about the sport. I didn't think that I was like capable of wrestling. I thought that like I was going to go out there and I was going to go and get my face bashed in the mat, which I did for the first few months, but like I didn't think that I would ever actually be a truly decent wrestler. Well, after initial struggles, this team has become a tremendous group of wrestlers, besting both girls and boys on the mat. The Granite Bears represented their school at the North Carolina Women's Wrestling Invitational earlier this month. Like I never thought there was that many girls until I showed up and there was hundreds. I was like, what in the world? And their coach hopes even more girls will join them soon. Couldn't be happier with the way they're wrestling and you know the way they are. Um, they're, in my opinion, they're tougher than boys. So, uh, and they definitely they work hard and they have great technique. I mean, it's high level technique. So, super happy and super proud. Sophomore Hope Horan won gold in the 114 pound weight class, avenging her second place finish from a year ago. Horan was the first wrestler in school history to qualify for the NCHSAA state championship wrestling meet a year ago. She says she doesn't view wrestling as a boys or girls sport. I think wrestling is just wrestling at the end of the day, you know? And it, I mean, I think anyone can win a wrestling match. It just depends on how your mind is set. In Mount Airy, Fort Hatchet, WXAI 12 News. All right, let's talk about our forecast.